Hello, I'm Mark Hall Patton, Administrator of the Clark County Museum. I want to welcome you again to the museum. One of our buildings out here is the Henderson Townsite House that is behind me. But like many of the buildings that we have out here, we have more exhibits that are part of the structures. In this case, the Henderson Townsite House was built during World War II. One of the other things that were very popular in Henderson, in Las Vegas, and throughout the United States were victory gardens. So as part of the exhibit that we have here, we have a victory garden. Now the idea of victory gardens is one that went back to World War I. In fact, the first victory gardens were called war gardens, and they were actually started before we entered World War I. But at the end of the war, these pretty much went away. But with the coming of World War II, they came back again. And in all of the United States, and again in Canada, Great Britain, Australia, New Zealand, and a lot of the world, people would start growing victory gardens. The idea was this would provide you with fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, fresh herbs that you could use. It would offset your need to buy these elsewhere, it would provide more uh, availability to food for the men that were fighting on the front. Malcolm Vuksic is our new curator of exhibits and he actually installed this particular victory garden. We've had the victory garden here for years, but it has to get replanted. So how did you choose what you were going to plant here? Well, we used the victory garden guide from 1943. <laughs> Anything to yeah, have. A lot of seed companies and other companies produce these guides for the victory gardener. Uh, and we looked at our zone. We're zone two, which is the poorest zone. And from the guide decided what to plant. We chose corn, squash, tomatoes, uh, we have pumpkin in there, and uh, what's doing best are our peppers. Um, but uh, we had a lot of challenges, like the early Victory Gardeners had with weather. Uh, we've had a blazing heat. We've had the torrential storms, lightning and thunder from a few uh, weeks ago. And uh, we've had the problem of uh, birds and pests. We've had the harvest already. and. No, although not bountiful, it would have been probably characteristic of what the Victory Gardeners would have experienced. Uh, we've had plant failure, we've had some plant successes, uh, we know what to do for next year. Now you might wonder why we don't just take it out immediately and bring in really nice new plants to make it look good. Part of that is because we want our visitors to understand what it was really like to live at this time as we do with all of the houses here at the museum. It's not a matter of making it always look wonderful and good because sometimes things failed, plants failed, uh, bugs would get in there, lizards, whatever, that's normal. So when you come out to the museum, be sure to look around and walk around the houses. You'll see that there's a little bit more all the way around the grounds than you might see on first blush. Now remember, we're open seven days a week, nine to 4.30. It's only two bucks a head. We are the best bargain in the Vegas Valley. And shoot, if you're under 18 or over 50, it's only a dollar. Who can beat that? So come on out and join us. We look forward to seeing you.